Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio podcast where we deal with leaderpreneurs, entrepreneurs, men and women learn the essentials and human skills of the strenuous life. Hello everybody, I'm your host JR and I'm going to talk to you about financial literacy. You ever wonder why some people retire young and rich and others die broke and in poverty? How about I teach y'all a basic lesson? More like a balanced lesson compared to what's being offered nowadays. Now, this is the essence of it. A lot of the, some of the rich, they retire young. Number one, the cash flow quadrant. This is introduced by uh, Robert Kiyosaki. On the left side of the quadrant, the employees in the small business or solopreneurs, these people are basically renting their life away. We're on the right side, the big business and the uh, investors. They're the ones that own their life. That doesn't mean that the solopreneur can't become rich. But that's the matter is this. No one does it alone as an island, if you know what I mean. Being plugged into a system is the best thing you can do. Now, that be thing being said, I will say this one thing. I much prefer to be on the right side of the, of the quadrant. A big business and investing. And when I'm talking about investing, I agree with Robert Kiyosaki. If you're going to be investing in stocks, maybe just invest like only a very small pool of stock. Don't put too, too much of your faith in the stock market. Too many poor folks do that. The rich don't. And why is it? Half the time, the time, they're the ones that create the stock. All right? Now. Here's the good part. If you know what I mean. You pay, uh, um, your best investments that you pay into a gold, silver, oil, and real estate. Uh, a lot of people here in Texas, their fortunes have been made in oil. But that's that's another thing. The important thing is that you know where you think is best for you to invest in. But like I said, don't put too much into the stock market. I suggest, you know, maybe a very small amount of stock. Now, the, the next thing you need to know in order for financial education is the difference between an asset and a liability. Too many people think that home ownership is an asset. No, because you can borrow debts against it. Liens can come against it. It's a liability. But if you're purchasing man's real estate that can build wealth, that becomes an asset. See? There you go. Now, here's something that I disagree with Robert Kiyosaki about, though. Using debt create assets. I'm sorry, but one thing I learned from my daddy was that debt is dumb. So therefore, it is dumb. So, you learned some valuable lessons, and all this works in your favor. 
And since it says, I realize it's a short uh, deal with you on financial advice. But it's something I think you can really benefit from. So be ready, my friends. Be ready to enjoy it. I hope you enjoy listening to The Strenuous Life. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of The Strenuous Life Radio family. Until next time, don't sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have what others can. And until next time, this is Jerry saying, Create, achieve, and pursue happiness. God bless you. Remember this, until next time, JR really, really loves you. God bless each and every one of you.